I mean, big mood there from Ron Artest. <laughs> 14 years ago today, Kobe Bryant, Artest, and the Lakers what denied the, the Celtics what? from getting their 18th banner. What? Producer Greg, duh. But Producer one championship, Karen, actually. six coaches later, the Lakers are still in pursuit of the same. As Woj reported on Friday, J.J. Redick interviewed with the Lakers this weekend. So while we wait to hear the details of how that interview went, one has to ask, Shanae, is a new head coach enough when we're looking in our crystal balls of next season, knowing the West is coming for the Lakers to get back into contention? It's not. I'm sorry, there's not like one situation, one band-aid that can fix everything that needs surgery, okay? What they need is to be able to have someone that can provide accountability, leadership, and also understand the ecosystem of the Western Conference, which I'm assuming whoever is the head coach will do that. But at the end of the day, this team was a team that was not good enough based off of where the direction the Minnesota Timberwolves were, where the Denver Nuggets are, where the Dallas Mavericks are currently are, to compete based off of roster construction. You have to have a vision, which is why getting them in place, getting a head coach in place before the draft is a great start for that. I mean, time is ticking. Time is definitely ticking. So I think the coach is a good step in the right direction, but then you have to go to team, you have to go to personnel, you have to go to offensive vision, you have to go defensive position, Oof. and then you have to think about the future That's of the like franchise. A whole binder. So there's, look, there's another checklist. Uh, there's a segment I want to p- pitch for next season. It's a checklist. They have a lot to mark off. Tanae's checklist. I love the alliteration there. Let me turn my hat backwards. Sip my eight hundred dollar bottle of wine. Oh, like JJ on the podcast. And think about my answer. No, the coach is not enough to turn the Lakers back into a contender. This is a Western Conference. The Western Conference is a completely different animal. Now, they're going to have picks to trade this summer. They're going to try to trade them for an impact player. The players, the roster, yeah. have to improve for them to become a real contender in the Western Conference. It's not getting any easier at the top, at the bottom, or in the middle. I this mean, has been a play-in incredible. team almost every year. That's crazy to think about the Lakers being there the, it is. the team that is, quote-unquote, competing for championships. Only one season finishing better than seventh? Well, the coach really don't have a choice, and that's the gift and the curse of having LeBron James and Anthony Davis on your team because as long as you got those two on your roster, Every single year, it is going to be about competing for a title and being a team that's a title contender, right? Because there's nothing less than that, especially having LeBron. Do I think they're going to be? No, but the expectations are going to be for them to actually go out there and win the championship. No other no other way around it. Whatever coach comes in, again, he got to make sure he put the right system in place this got to be an Anthony Davis hire, and you got to find ways if they do keep Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimara, those guys, how can you put them in position offensively to be more successful? Perk, I know we talk about La La Land a lot. Yeah. Are we in La La Land, though? Is there a realistic expectation for them to win a championship considering what the West looks like? I mean, because that's, if that's what but, they're coming in saying, we have to have a coach that fixes that, I feel like that's a little bit unrealistic. I mean, I mean that's that's I mean, that's the gift and the curse of having LeBron. I ain't saying I, – I didn't even want to talk about this i'm i'm pissed off at jaren okay, okay all right we'll calling this. Our producers you know why now. you know why why well. because you don't bring up that 2010 moment when your boy <laughs> big perk sitting here when i was sitting on the sideline with a toy acl i don't want to care about how about 2008 out. in the celtics yeah, we can bring that up. Gonna that up well how about we just we'll, we'll check in on the rest of the league see what's going on at-